Hello, this is Devin from WP Theming, and I'm going to show you how to enable multi-site for your WordPress install. Um, there's actually a great article in the Codex if you want to read through that, um, but I'm going to show you how to do it through a screencast here. What you'll need to do is look for this line that says De define WP allow multi-site true, and you can either get that on the Codex or in the post down below. And go ahead and copy that. And you will need access, FTP access to your server in order to add this line to your WP config file. Um, and we're also going to make some changes to the HT access file. So as long as you have that, you're good to go. So you copy that line, open up WP config, and go down to the line where it says, that's all, stop editing, happy blogging, and insert that line of code that allows multi-site there. Um, I have a fresh install of WordPress here, and you'll see under the tools menu I just have these three options right now, but once I upload this new WP config file and refresh my browser, I have the additional option for network setup. So go ahead and click on that. And here you have options for how you want to configure multi-site. There's two ways to do it. You can have subdomains, which is like site1.mysite.com, site2.mysite.com, or you can do subdirectories like mysite.com slash site1. Um, not all hosts will allow you to do the subdomain route. Um, you'll need to check with your host to see if they allow wildcard DNS. And I'm using Bluehost, which does not allow wildcard DNS, so I'm going to stay with the subdirectories option there. And then just click install. So now we get um, two more pieces of code that we're going to add into our WP config file and our HT access file. So you select what it tells you up here, go ahead and copy that and get back to your WP config file and just insert that code below where you said define WP allow multi-site and go ahead and update that and then go ahead and open your HT access file um, if your code editor is funny you might need to change the name And go ahead and copy everything that is here and paste it into your HT access file. Um, if you don't have an HT access file, you can just create one. Or if you set your permalinks, generally WordPress will create it for you. And I'm going to re upload this. And once you complete those steps, you just need to log in again. And now you'll see you have another option up here in your dashboard that says My Sites. And if you want to administer your multi-site network, just go over here. It says Howdy and go click Network Admin. And this allows you to create new sites that you might want. So let's see what sites we have set up. Right now we just have the default. But I can create a new one called, let's say, Site 1. Add that site. And then I can go to the dashboard for this new site. So you see the base is using default theme 2011. Just to show you that these actually are new sites that are being created, I'll select a different theme. So I'll have to go back. The admin and click on my themes and enable another one.
And we got two enabled. So now I'll go to the dashboard in under themes here. I will set 2010 for this site. And so you can see, although this one still has the 2011 site, if we go to site one, it will have the 2010 site. So hope that's a good introduction to using multi-site. Good luck with your projects.